Hello and welcome back to Fallout 4. And today we're going to continue to try and backstab the Institute and steal all their greatness. Oh. You gotta say, these fusion cells are pretty nice. But we will have to stab them in the back. Nice. If we understand that since Dixecti is a synth, I, could they be considered a human or not? I don't know. Who knows? But either way, we had to stop. Sounds like those raiders at Libertalian quite a handful. Not really. X688 sounded very impressed with your work at Libertalian. He doesn't give praise like that. <coughs> I just died. Any additional pain or tenderness? Not that I've noticed, no. I feel quite well. Interesting. How's your energy? The Institute's a big place. It no might take a while to learn where everything is. Way. Okay. You're sticking to the regimen we agreed upon? Yes, Doctor. I'm taking all my little pills. Okay. Yes, thank you, Doctor. I think that will be all for now. But I haven't quite finished. I believe we're done now. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. I understand mass fusion was a success, despite interference from the Brotherhood of Steel. What did you hear? Dr. Fillmore's report was quite thorough. The Brotherhood's intervention must be placed in a larger context, however, given their penchant for hoarding technology. Future conflict with them is guaranteed. We are, after all, keepers of the most advanced technology in the Commonwealth, if not beyond. It also cannot go unnoticed that there were concerns within the Institute about your allegiances. I, of course, never doubted your commitment to our cause. But by directly confronting the Brotherhood, I think you've put some others at ease. I'm proud of you, regardless. The Brotherhood is an issue for the future, and we must focus on the present. And look at me, rambling on like the old man I am. I'm wasting time. You're needed elsewhere at once. I just got back. I only just got back. Now what? I understand. But we have a problem. This situation, I'm afraid, is something of your creation, however unintentional. What happened? What do you mean by that? What's happened? Well, while you were assisting Dr. Fillmore, a second team was sent out to... Invite someone from the Commonwealth to join the Institute. Apparently, there was some miscommunication, and this individual called for help, which arrived in the form of your Minutemen. My understanding is that no shots have been fired. I would like it to stay that way. I need you to go there and speak to your Minutemen gathered outside. Insist that they stand down at once. Dr. Thompson is on site, and he will be your primary contact. I know you can resolve this situation, but it is of paramount importance that this special individual be brought to the Institute immediately. Um... Uh, what's special? Why all this effort? What's so special about this person? Mr. Wallace? Despite a lack of formal training, our surveillance has shown he has incredible intellect. With his help, we may be able to drastically speed up work on the reactor. No oh, good. I also turned off my pan. Be pan, my fan. Turn off my fan. I didn't know that was on, but you know, we're stupid. I'm stupid, not you. You're probably smarter than me. I don't give a shit. Hey, Nicholas. I set him a relay beam that said, "Hey." Can you go there? And it's like, yeah, I'll go there. Oh dear. Now I gotta go over here. Great. Gotta talk to our Minutemen. I'm a Minuteman. Minuteman. What is this? Hi. How's it going, friend? You're welcome to join us. Pull up a patch of dirt stump. 
Old tire, whatever suits you. Take a load off and stay a while. The good fellowship's on the house. The drinks are how I keep body and soul together. Can I get you something to drink? Traveling bar? What is this? A traveling bar? I have a lot of friends. I make new friends wherever I go. My friends are the only friends. What can I say? It's good. So far, wandering around. I see the world. Friends always know I'll be coming to visit soon. So, can I get you anything? The fuck was that? Sure. Let me see what you got. My selection is a bit limited right now, but take a look. Well, that was interesting. I'll take some water. That is dirty. Oh dear. I just sneezed all over my stuff. That's great. Mmm, delicious. Delicious indeed. Mint hats. Stream. That's. Oh, chair! We're being shot at. Oh, dear. I reached the house. Time to speak with the Minuteman. I can't because there's a fucking bird of bird. Hmm. Hmm, do I have anything of the sorts that can easily get rid of that? I got a pistol. Go, 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 go! I don't have anything to stab myself with. Oh, that's sad. That is very sad. Great, we gotta waste all this time going in here, trying to find purified and rad steak meat. Hmm. Is there anything on the swords that are... Did we just literally... <laughs> what is this vertebrate doing? Um... Hello? Gosh dang it. What is this? <laughs> hmm. This vertebrate should die. Oh, sorry. Pfft. 
Oh, great. It's not the one. Uh -huh. Huh? Yeah. Hi, how are you? Oh my gosh. Hey there. Hey. Yes. Did I break the fucking game? Fucking bitches. Ruining my life. Here we are back in the Institute. Now we're gonna go back to there. Oh thanks. Thanks. Thanks, you fucking glitch out oh, fucking that! Here we are back again. Oh my gosh. And if we see that vertebrate, we're gonna slash kill it. That's right. We're cheating. Why? Because the game obviously bugged out. Where's that vertebrate? Where's that vertebrate? Where is it? It's right there. Kill it. Did that actually work? Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was good. What's going on here? You're an unexpected surprise. We could use the backup. These Institute bastards aren't getting away. They'll have to go through us to get out of there. We don't know quite what we're up against, but it's good you're here to help. Uh, how did you hear about this? Hey, good work. You've done good work. Thank you. Uh, sir, so, how do you want to play this? We thought about trying to lure him out here, since it'd be easier to kill him. But then we realized we probably ought to storm the place, to make sure they can't disappear on us. That makes sense, right? So, you want to lead the charge? A uh, citizen. What do you know about the person who lives here? Not too much. Wallace is his name. Kind of an egghead type, but real squirrely. Keeps to himself. We've checked in on him every now and then, but he didn't seem to want the company. So, we moving in or what? Stand down. No one is gonna do anything. Tell your men to stand down. I don't... Are you kidding me? If we don't do something now, they're gonna take that poor guy wherever it is they go. And we'll have failed. Again. Are you gonna order the attack or not? Uh, it's a misunderstanding. Yes. This whole thing is just a misunderstanding. A misunderstanding. Can't wait to hear this. Explain to me how this is a misunderstanding. Um. <clears throat> risk being wrong? You sure you're willing to risk being wrong about this? Look, I, I just want people to be safe, you know? I don't want anyone else dying or getting kidnapped or whatever. We won't start shooting or nothing. But you, you better get in there. And make sure you're right. Yep. Yepers. Let's go. Broken. Broken? Oh, thank God you're here. I was starting to worry we might not make it out of this mess. How exactly did this happen? I'm not suited for field work. I've said that over and over, and they sent me anyway. There was no indication that Wallace had been in contact with anyone or was aware that we might be watching him. If I'd known, I'd... I don't know. Maybe I'd have tried to handle things differently. I know he's potentially important to Phase 3 and all, but I'm not sure it's worth putting ourselves in harm's way. You screwed up. Far as I can tell, you were only in harm's way because you screwed this up. Look, I had the same intelligence reports as everyone else. No one saw this coming. I know they've been keeping an eye on him for years. Not sure how they originally found him, but probably don't want to know. But once they realized how smart he was and what an asset he could be for Phase 3, they watched pretty closely. I think they even fed him scientific material from time to time to see how good he was, you know, testing him to see if he was institute material. Let's just get Wallace and get out of here. 
Okay, let's go. No argument from me. Let's go. Right. There's just, well, there's a slight problem with that. He doesn't want to go with us. I was thinking, maybe you could try and talk to him. No problem. No problem. I'm sure I can get him to see reason. I hope so. We really need him. Mr. Wallace, I'm here to talk to you. You're another one of, uh, of them, aren't you? Are you a robot? I don't mean no harm. I mean you no harm. No one here does, all right? We're just here to talk. You're not stealing my organs, or shooting me into space, or whatever it is you do. I won't let you. I've heard all the stories. I know exactly what happens to people when the Institute shows up. Well, it's not happening to me. <laughs> calm down. Hey, just calm down, okay? I just want to talk to you. If I wanted to talk, I wouldn't be in... Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, gotta, gotta reload. <laughs> Da, 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 now. Hey, just calm down, okay? I just want to talk to you. <sighs> fine, fine. What do you want from me? Willing to help? Mr. Wallace, would you be willing to help the Institute? Help? The Institute? But aren't, aren't they... you... I'm, I'm... the bad guys? The Institute has an engineering problem that your scientific expertise could help solve. In exchange for helping us out, you'd be granted access to the most advanced research facility imaginable. Whatever research you wanted to perform, anything, it's possible there. I promise. You'd be safe and secure in a way that's completely impossible anywhere else. A better option. You have a better option than what we're offering you? No. No, I guess I don't. Okay, fine. I'll go. I'm looking forward to working for you, future director. <sighs> okay. I think we've got this under control now. Thanks. I mean, thanks for the assist. Okay. Hey, I'm here to help. You're welcome. I really mean it. I owe you one. I'll see you back in the Institute. I mean, you're gonna die, but oh well. Uh, they are walking away. Now we gotta speak to father again. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Hey, we made it back. That's great. Too bad we gotta blow this place up because everyone here is gonna kill everyone outside. Oh man, that's crazy. Crazy. Ah, there you are. I cannot express how pleased I am. Our new guest is familiarizing himself with his surroundings. Yet he's already pointed out several inefficiencies in our methods. With his help, Phase 3 will be ready in no time. And it's all thanks to you. How close are we? A lot of work went into this before I even arrived. Just how close are we? It shouldn't take long at all. The Facilities Division has it well in hand. There is one more part for you to play, and I think you might enjoy it. It is time to announce our presence to the Commonwealth, to request that they do not interfere with our plans. You should be the one to do it. Announcements? What kind of announcement are we talking about? A broadcast. An announcement to the Commonwealth that the Institute is not to be trifled with. As the incoming director, that responsibility naturally falls to you. We've prepared some remarks for you to record. Once you're finished, we'll broadcast them to the entire Commonwealth. Use the microphone here and follow the script. It's quite simple. I'm sure you'll do fine, Father. Okay. Microphone. For years now, you have suspected that the Institute still exists that we are among you. It is true. But it is not the whole truth. We're here. And we are. <laughs> uh, here to help. Here to help. Our superior technology represents the future of the Commonwealth. Today, we activate our nuclear reactor, ensuring that we will persevere long after the world above ground ceases to exist. 
ensuring that mankind has a future. We have no desire to interfere in the unimportant details of your... Hmm. Pathetic assistance. Personal freedoms. Personal freedoms. We simply insist that you do not interfere with Institute operations. To do so would result in... Tragedy for all. Tragedy for all involved. Rest easy. Know that the future is... Looking bright. Looking bright. And that mankind will thrive under our guidance. Well, that was... interesting. Perhaps not what we originally intended, but it will certainly get your point across. Now it's time to make sure that everyone hears it. How would you feel about making a little trip to Diamond City? Ah, uh, sure. I could use some fresh air. A quaint phrase. Though I'm afraid the air there is anything but fresh. The radio station in Diamond City is listened to by many in the Commonwealth. If we'd like the people to hear what we have to say, it's the best way to reach them. Before we preempt their broadcasts, we need to ensure it reaches the maximum range possible. I've been assured that the necessary parts are on site. You'll just need to install them to boost the broadcasting power. Report back when you're done. We should be ready by then. Anyways, I'm gonna leave the episode here. What we did, we, uh... Uh, we're working for the Institute so we can stab in the back. Anyways, now yeah, that's enough said right there. Anyways, in the next episode, we're going to continue with our stabbing in the back of the Institute. That's great. Anyways, leave a like um, if you like the Fallout 4 series. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye!